welcome to African Food Boss TV. My name is Caroline and I'm your host. Today we're going to make a very delicious yet simple, you know, staple recipe for fried vegetable and shrimp rice. Now, vegetable and shrimp rice is a very common meal like in so many parts of the world and even in Africa different parts of Africa have their own variations of making it now I know I already told you guys in a couple of my videos that I'm originally from Cameroon so this recipe for fried rice is something that you know I, I, I grew up eating and this is how we make it in Cameroon or this is how I grew up seeing my mom making it I'm going to add a little bit of variations in it but I just wanted to let you guys know that way you don't see that maybe you're from another part of Africa and you're like, oh, that's not how we make it. This is how I grew up seeing my mom making it, okay? Now, I don't want this video to be very long, so I did a lot of the prepping off camera. But I'm going to leave a detailed link um, list of the ingredients and their measurements. I'm going to leave that on the screen and in the video description section. And as usual, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. Okay? Now, there's four key parts, you know, um, when it comes to making fried rice and the first part is cooking your rice usually i use like parboiled rice and with the parboiled rice you could use uncle ben's or any other brand that brand that you prefer so usually i cook it i cook it before you know i start the whole process of frying it and right here we have two cups of the parboiled rice and i cooked it in three cups of water and half a teaspoon of curry powder and half a teaspoon of salt because it's very important that you know when when you cook the rice that it has some flavor and a little bit of taste in it that way when you start the process of you know frying it or incorporating the other ingredients in it that you know there's already some taste to the rice and it's easier to you know have a good result with it that way so that's how I cooked it and then I let it you know cool off when if you don't have a lot of time to let it sit and cool off on its own sometimes you can just pop it in the fridge you know leave it in there for a little bit and it's going to cool off you know quicker that way but make sure make sure you know it cools off before you start the whole process of frying because that way you know it's not clumped up and you get better results with it and then another tip another tip that is very important is when you're washing your rice to cook it make sure all of the whiteness in the water you know is off make sure your water is clear before you start cooking the rice you are you know almost guaranteed best results and you make sure that way it's not soggy and it's not clumped up you know it really comes out nicely okay so that's the rice and I already prepared my shrimp as well this is the kind of shrimp that I got is the cheaper version um, I got it from Walmart it, it was already cooked um, peeled deveined it had the tail on it so all I had to do was you know thaw it and then take the tail off and then I fried it all I did you know usually I don't like to over spice my shrimp because I feel like shrimp already has a natural flavor on its own and it's seafood by the way so there's already a little bit of salt on you know it comes with a, a little bit of salt already so all I do usually to spice my shrimp is I just you know uh, I sprinkle a little bit of um, black pepper you know about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and then a little bit of salt as well and then I just mix it let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I fry it. that 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 that's all I usually do for my shrimp and then in here I have my chicken bouillon um I started off with about half a it with about one tablespoon of it I already used half of it to to prepare my 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 veggies that I'm going to put in the in the fried rice so that's that's what this is and then I cut up half of a medium-sized onion in here and then these are my wet spices now there's ginger in here there's ginger there's garlic there's parsley um, there's celery as well in here and then the dry spices all I have in here is thyme there's some thyme Okay, so in here, the dry spices, there's some thyme, and then these are bay leaves, 
and there's some white pepper in here so I'm going to use about half a teaspoon of the of the dried spices and then these two bay leaves so I'll just throw them in there so I laid out all of the spices here for you guys to see um, of course this is our salt and you know and usually one of the things that I say for sure is make sure you're adjusting the spices according to your own taste I could make recommendations on here but you know exactly how you want it to taste so definitely make adjustments accordingly here's our veggies of course I already have the veggies prepped I already have it prepped right here so in here I just use one medium sized pack of the mixed veggies you can get those from any supermarket Walmart or you know if you're here in the US or Canada you can get it from Walmart the medium sized pack that has carrots green beans peas corn in it and then I also cut up um, half of a red bell pepper half of a yellow bell pepper and half of a green bell pepper and I just cut them up in little slices that will match the shapes of you know the other veggies that came in the medium sized pack so that's all I have in here and then I flavored this with um, some black pepper I used a little bit of white pepper as well and then um, some salt and um, a little bit of the, the, the chicken bouillon guys we're gonna get started um, I'm just gonna throw in my onions in here this oil is already hot and I let that get a little bit too hot so I'm just gonna okay the onions for a little bit adjusting my oil as I go all right and then I'm gonna throw in my fried rice in here and remember, like I said, you don't want the fried rice, you don't want the rice to be hot before you put it in here. And if you're wondering why my rice is a little bit yellow, that's because I put in some curry powder in there. Like I said earlier on, I put in half a cup of curry powder in the in the boiled water before I put the rice in. So half, half a teaspoon, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of curry powder and half a teaspoon of salt to two cups of rice and then there were there were three cups of water in, in there so that's how come it gives it like this and one of the things that I tell a lot of people is when you're making your fried rice make sure you do it in small batches now you could you know boil the rice and, and set it aside like a good quality of the rice and set it aside but once you start the, the frying and the mixing of everything do it in smaller batches that way you can guarantee, you know, better results. All right, and then while it's frying in there, I'm going to put in one tablespoon of my wet spices, okay? That's probably a little over one tablespoon, but... And I just mix everything up. And then I'm going to put in half a teaspoon. You can find half a teaspoon. It's half a teaspoon of my dried spices. And remember, like I said, this is just the white pepper and the thyme in here. So half a teaspoon. And my bay leaves are already in there. It smells so good already, guys. So good. And if after you cook your rice, if you realize that you wanted it to be a little bit more on the tasty side, this is the point where you could like just sprinkle in a little bit of salt or a little bit of your bouillon. Just as everything is frying together, that way like all the flavors and all the spices are incorporated in there. Alright, then now I'm just going to go in and add in my veggies. I'll just throw in my veggies in there. Now, if you see, like the veggies, even though I kind of fried it a little bit, there's, there's some wetness there. And all of that wetness is from 
um, the little bit of chicken stock that I put in there. Remember I told you guys about, you know, the chicken stock. I put some chicken stock in there. And then, of course, as the bell peppers also cook, you know, they released some of their juices as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put in my shrimp. So good and it smells so good. So you just mix. That's it guys. This is how you make veggie shrimp fried rice. Okay? Now once you've put everything together, like I said, you just let everything cook together, you know, for like a minute or two and and that's it you're you're good to go so if you guys have any questions whatsoever about this whole process i know this is kind of like a summarized version of everything if you have any questions whatsoever leave it down in the comment below i read every single comment and thank you all so much like we've had quite a few new subscribers um we appreciate you all welcome to the family if there's a specific recipe that you guys want me to make, definitely, um, you know, leave that in the comment below, like I said earlier on, and we will work on those. Now, this request for the, the veggie and shrimp fried rice, this was a specific request from one of um, our subscribers, so here it is. You guys definitely should try it out and let me know how you like it. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends and family, and enjoy. Thank you all so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.